hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel uh, now we will understand how to process non po based invoices in sap the transaction code we use to process non po invoice is fb60 go to fb60 and here you will have to enter some mandatory informations like from which bank you are processing what is the invoice date what is the invoice number what is the amount what is the tax amount gl account and base amount tax codes and various other things like a department code which we call in sap as a call center then we have to click on post so let us now continue and create one we'll post one invoice for a vendor now let me go and search for one of the vendor so I am searching for my company code H001 enter so there are so many vendors are there in the vendor in the SAP so I have to select the vendor according to my invoice copy so let's assume that we have invoice for Ashok Iron which is the vendor uh, vendor code is here you can say 100106 and select this vendor enter the invoice date or the <coughs> The date which is mentioned in the vendor's invoice okay invoice date so let us assume it is on 5th of September and enter the invoice number so it may be X Y Z 1 2 3 4 5 something then posting date when are you posting the invoice like today if you are posting then today's date invoice uh, posting date would be today's date then document type don't change anything it is a uh, document type will always be there KR for vendor invoice then amount let's total amount will be like example it is in front of your in 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 front of you you may have the invoice copy so the total amount including the tax so let us assume that 5500 is my total and this is amount is tax amount 500 like if the tax percent is 10 percent then amount will be a 500 then we have to select the tax code here like 10% uh, tax code then we have to enter the GL account like for what purpose we have uh, I mean what purpose this expense is incurring okay assume that this may be anything we can take any expenses GL account so here we have some T expenses and postage and courier rent account salary account there are so many let me take this TTA expenses and base amount will be your 5000 then tax code is V1 it is it will come by default when we take in the header level now go to uh, value date we can take today's date let me take copy this and you can enter and here the text field is mandatory so we have to enter some test here then enter your call center code so I will take this call center code and hit enter so as per this jail account they, it is not required to enter the tax code so it will be removed so remove that and here are some validations they have done it in SAP so we have to enter this text field here also so I will take here as a test and now that error message has been removed so since there is no tax code here so no need to enter the tax amount so remove the amount here also here also we have to remove the tax code then the amount here 5000 will be the total amount now you can see here you have to make sure this amount will be zero and click on simulate and verify the entry click on post when you post the document will be posted in the system thank you